Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Epoch and today I will be explaining to you how I am actually preparing my branch for the upcoming update with Victor's workshop. So, um, you know, the reason that I'm actually preparing is because the, you know, Victor's workshop will give us a few new gadgets and a few and one improved. That's going to be mainly the advanced drones. So once we have, you know, caught enough glitch slimes and turned them into the new currency for Victor's workshop, the glitch reports, we will be able to unlock new gadgets like the advanced drones. That is, will be drones that can actually do uh, a primary and a secondary task, so two. You will also have uh, access to the water tap, to the chicken cloner and the dash pad, which will make you run a lot faster. Now, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it and I want to experiment as quickly with those things. So I have been collecting all kinds of plorts. So you, I will show you the refinery in a second. And uh, yeah, for that reason, I also organized my basil, you know, my ranch a little bit different. So I have all these slimes and, you know, producing as many of the plorts that I will be using the most. So yeah, I will also use this just to showcase my base and my ranch. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I did that for the last time. So yeah, um, right outside here, I you see the slime hoop. I still have it out here from when I did the video on the She's on Fire achievement. Um, you know, be sure to check that out if you really want to do that achievement. I thought I got like a 125, maybe a little bit more. I don't remember. Uh, so yeah, it was a really cool trick. So be sure to check that out if you want to. And uh, you know, if you like the video, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. Uh, but yeah, so here is the refinery, and uh, you can see almost all of them are 900 or more, at l or 999. Um, so yeah, the pink ports are the lowest, along with the purple ports and the fire ports, and of course the gold ports. Now the pink ports are be mainly because I just made a lot of, um, you know, the best versions of the pump, the uh, aviaries and the uh, drills. So yeah, I always like to have 10 at least in stock for, you know, when the other ones are done. The pillow ports and the fire ports are always a problem because they don't generate ports as much as the other ones. Uh, and gold ports, yeah, I'm, I have a golden gordo uh, right there, if you can see him with the, the lightsaber. And it's, and I wanted to say his hand, but he doesn't have an hand. And I might just pop him sooner than later, just to get some golden plorts. Um, but yeah, and yeah, I got a lot of these egos from the ancient ruins. I have two pumps over here, but I also have two pumps in ancient ruins and in the um, glass desert. So I only have two over here. Uh, and yeah, so you, if you place the pumps down in the ancient ruins, you get a lot of egos. So yeah, if you want a lot of decoration material, that's the best place to go. I will be farming them a lot more when the decorizer comes out. Um, that will also be coming with the, you know, the update. Just give you an option to deck to organize your uh, echoes, but also your ornaments, like the ones I have over here. Uh, oh, damn you, dervish! So yeah, I also, you know, decorated the base, the ranch a little bit. Though I'm still not sure about this column, to be honest. Uh, play some trees, some, some rocks, uh, all kind of stuff. So yeah, um, each section has two drones, the max, of course, and also a refinery and the market link. Um, here you can see I have a full collection of mosaic. The mosaic crystals are over here, and over there we have the mosaic dervish. So let's start. Uh, I have me refinery over there, of course. And let's water those drones. Next, we have the uh, Ogden Ortiz mansion, and I have way too many rat slimes. I know, I know, I know. And apparently the drones are having a difficult time of keeping up with the plort selling. Um, so yeah, I'll probably come help them out once I you know, finish this. Okay, 
And this only happens when I'm recording, of course. Be nice, guys. I'm recording. Yeah, so I'll be picking up these plorts. I'll be selling these plorts after the video. Um, so yeah, I have the boom slimes with rat combination over there. The, the rat and the hunters and the rat and the tabbies. Um, so yeah, I have tabbies two times. Once over here and once in the grotto. Because they are highly needed. I'll just take these rat plorts with me. Next we have in the wild section over here, I always like this, tangle, yay, uh, we have the tangle slimes with, combined with honey, and again drones, dum 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 dum, bam, uh, two times of course, and over here we have at the docks the uh, fire slimes, so a few fire slimes in incinerator here, and a few slimes over here, and then of course a garden just to, you know, feed the incinerators. Um, I will be removing this plot and adding another incinerator once I actually have more fire slimes. Still need to get a few more. And let's get back to the central part and let's start with the next version. So yeah, here we have the other tangle slimes. Boom boom. Um, always one garden for each uh, coral, each coral at least has about, kind of depends, these parts actually have only like 12 slimes for each coral, some parts actually have up to 20, so yeah. Um, let's get to a test version, Machi Miles, uh, Machi Miles version is actually the most simple one, Puddle Slimes. Puddle slimes, puddle slimes, puddle slimes, and puddle slimes. Nothing but puddle slimes. Um, and over there, or else also, I just didn't have space for those three guys, but you know, still dumped them in there. Um, yeah, so I really need a lot of uh, water plorts. And I am noticing that these guys aren't really picking them up that much. So yeah. Um, that also explains why you don't have enough water plorts to max out. Next we have the, um, you know, the phosphor slimes. I have phosphor tabbies and phosphor pink ones. Um, yeah, it's not really picking up a lot of the phosphor and because uh, I have, you know, configured the drones to just put all the plorts into the refinery of course and I am missing a lot of the pink ones but the phosphors are maxed out so they are not picking them up. I'll change that in a moment. And over here we have the last part and these are all the quantum slimes, uh, quantum rocks and quantum sabers. No really special reason after the, this, uh, you know, these combos. Uh, I needed rocks, I needed sabers, and I needed quantums in my base, my ranch. So yeah, why not? Um, so yeah, so these are about twenty quantums and oh, 20 over here. Uh, it's sometimes very chaotic because you have all these ghosts around. Um, so yeah, these are all for selling. And just to show you quickly, so um, yeah, I forgot about the grotto where the pumps and drills are. Now the ones for the for the, the drills are actually the longest walk because I use the portal over here where I normally do rock grotto is and over here I immediately have um, four drills. These are the Titan Drills, I believe. Sorry, that's our name. And I have also placed a, you know, a refinery link over here. Because otherwise it just gets way too much to carry. Uh, I'm probably going to place a new portal over there. So I don't really always have to do this walk. And yes, I'm lazy. And yes, I know. Um, so yeah, because I've also been focusing on collecting the ports for the refinery. I don't, didn't make that much cash. 
Uh, so that's what we'll do. Easy. I'm only at like one million, almost two hundred thousand. So yeah. Uh, okay. Catch that. Um, if you want uh, tips on how to keep quantum slimes, be sure to check out my video on that. Um, through this gate, we have the uh, you know ancient ruins. It's always easy to get through. And over here, you also have two more pumps. And they always drop the spiral steam as primordial oil, but they also drop the echoes. Oh, I don't always pick them up, obviously. Uh, and same thing over here. So yeah, this is a pretty easy way to get some echoes if you want to decorate your base. Uh, yeah, I keep saying base when I know it's a ranch, but you know, base just seems a little bit better in my head. Uh, a lot of things do actually. Uh, so over here we have the marsh blanket. Again, a lot of yeah. I'm probably not gonna have enough space for this, so let's drop these eggs over here. I'll pick them up in a moment. Um. So yeah, over here you have the. Aviaries, um, there are four over here. Um, at the beginning, I was actually thinking about moving my aviaries to the other side, to one room over there, because there are a lot more gadget spots over here. Here, there are exactly six, and I actually need seven, normally because you have four, avi six aviaries and one portal. But since I'm putting my aviaries, and also two aviaries in the, the glass desert, you don't really need to do that. So, and the glass desert portal is over here. Um, in this section, you know, this is a central part where you, you know, is everything actually the most central part you have. Where you have the tangled gordo up there. Here you can see immediately the, my two pumps. Um, because you have so many different kinds of gadgets. You can. What am I hearing? Is oh, killer ginger, nice. Um. So yeah, because you have these a lot of um, you know materials, I am just actually basically refining your link down here. If you have the materials, I would just advise to you know make as many as possible and. Place them at as many possible places because yeah, you can't sleeve materials and just so much easier if you can just drop them immediately in your refinery link since they don't really have to be only placed at your base. Um, so yeah. I'll get the gilded ginger in a second. But yeah, that's pretty much my base. I think I showed you all I could. Um, yeah, so it's a really small effort if you have all the slimes at your base. I would just advise doing this, um, this way. Okay. Um, this way actually you are as prepared as you can be for Victor's update. So when Victor's update only comes out, you just, you know, oh, why am I throwing kill the ginger during there? Uh, you just have to, you know, just... Get, do the glitch slimes, catch the glitch slimes, turn them in for glitch reports, unlock all the goodies that Victor offers, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's gonna be my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just wanted to really show it off. I have been making a few another video on Dauntless because I've been playing that a little bit, but I want to make release this video anyway because you know, I think it's like you know, it would be useful to do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And all, as always, till next time. See ya.